Right, so here I am, uh, with my audio guide on. The Gulags, introduced by Lenin after he came to power in 1917, were concentration camps unique at the time because they were the first to imprison their own citizens, in particular political dissidents in the name of re-education. However, it was under Stalin from 1930 that the Gulags officially become established, seeing a huge increase in prisoners and an extreme worsening of living conditions involving beatings, rape, working to exhaustion, inadequate warmth and clothing, and starvation, with prisoners resorting to eating dogs, rats, and in one instance, each other. Stalin's key development, though, was to repurpose the Gulags to bring about industrialization exploiting forced labour for mining, logging and construction. This economic drive reached a climax in the Great Purge of 1936-38, when Stalin introduces targets for prisoner numbers, resulting in the arrests of innocent people who are deemed to be involved in what is officially called counter-revolutionary activities, such as being late for work, considered sabotage, talking to a foreigner, considered treason, and wrapping a fish in a newspaper that contained a picture of Stalin, considered anti-Soviet behaviour. Going one step further, anyone who knew but failed to inform the authorities of such activities was guilty by association. With nobody safe, terror spread across the country. When Stalin dies in 1953, the gulags begin to be dismantled. In total, around 20 million people went through the atrocities of the gulags, with the death toll estimated to be around 3 million. For those who survived, they faced a new challenge of adapting back to normal life. <laughs> Today in Russia, the subject of the Gulag is often contextualised as an unfortunate but necessary part of wartime security, and this ambivalent feeling is somewhat evident in the lack of significant Gulag memorials in the country. The Gulag History Museum, founded in 2001 by former Gulag prisoner, focuses on the human tragedy, and tellingly is one of only two museums in Russia dedicated to the subject. Oh, I learnt so much, such a significant vital part of history as well, and yet it's not said anywhere else in any of the things I've been to. People I spoke to, people who speak to me about Russia, actually it's not even really 
quite a little widely spoken in London. We all know about Hitler's concentration camps, and nobody really talks about the gulags. Just so much, so much going on there.